Hey Mike, old X-Force PC. I want to talk to you about the Real Sim Gear GNS 430 and 530 today. Now just so you know, this is in a stand which incorporates both the 530 and the 430, but you can also buy these individually. Um, let's first take a look at the back here real fast. Um, on the 530, you do have a power adapter, a little power supply that you have to plug in. And then you have the signal cable, which is HDMI. And then over on the side, you have a USB port. Now you have the same thing on the 430, except you don't need a power supply. It's able to get it, the necessary power it needs through the USB port on the computer. And so um, it does not require auxiliary power, unlike the uh, 530 and above do require. Um, so that's the physical uh, stuff regarding it. Now, the, these are considered mo both considered monitors to the computer. So you can see here in our display settings, we have three monitors, and we'll go in depth with that a little bit later. Next, let's talk about updating the firmware on these things. Now, um, the first thing you want to do with setting these up is, in my opinion, update the firmware. And the easiest way to make sure you're updating the firmware in the right one, because they each have a different firmware, is simply unplug one of them. So I just unplugged the 530, and we're going to go and update the firmware on the 430, which is still plugged in. So you go to realsimgear.com, and you click on, up at the top, click on Setup and then go to Setup Guides, and here you can download the GNS 430 firmware update. And so with that, you need the, the firmware itself and a program called Xloader. And I've already downloaded those two items, and I've actually already updated the firmware, but I'll do it again. I'm going to my Downloads folder, and you can see I've extracted Xloader. And I just run Xloader. Move it over here. And once I run Xloader, then I have to browse to my um, firmware, which is right here, GNS430 firmware. And then make sure I pick the last COM port, is typically the one that's the correct one, and hit Upload. And you'll know it's done where, when at the end it says uh, Uploaded, past tense. So it says 6280 bytes uploaded. And so that means it's done. Now I can do the same thing for the 530. So I'm just going to unplug the 430. And I'm going to plug in the 530. And I'm going to start the X loader program up again. Move it over here so you can see it. It's a little tiny box. Pick COM13. And then I've got to browse for my file and find the 530 hex file and hit Upload. Now one thing I want to mention, if you are buying this in a package from us, uh, not as a separate item, we're going to have this part done for you. So we're probably not going to sell these Real, Real Sim Gear units as individual items, but we'll incorporate them into packages. And so if you get a package from us, again, we'll have the firmware done already. We'll also have the um, plug-in installed already. And now I can go ahead and plug my 430 back in since I'm done with the firmware updating on both of them. And now we'll talk about what's next. So the next thing I like to do is update the display settings. So we have this big wide monitor up here, and then these two are also considered monitors. So I just right click on the desktop and go to display settings. And you can see our arrangement here is not correct. We don't have these two units way out here to the side. So we need to arrange them. You first hit identify so you can see which one is which. And you can keep hitting identify as many times as you want. You can see the 530 is display number 3, the 430 is display number 2. So I am just going to simply drag them the, this way right here, because this is how they are, like that, and hit apply. So now I'm going to hit identify again. You can see 1, 3, 2, so they're arranged correctly. But you may have noticed that 
the numbers are upside down here. That's because these, both of these displays for some reason are flipped. And I assume that's something that's going to continue to be the case. If that changes at some point, of course, modify the instructions for that. But what we need to do is click on this one in display properties and go down here and change it from landscape to landscape flipped. And I'm going to say keep changes. And so now when I hit identify, notice my number three is right side up now. Um, do the same thing on the 430. I'm going to go down and change it to landscape flipped. And when I hit identify, the number two is now right side up. So um, now we've got our monitors arranged. That way, if, um, if I come like this and I go off the bottom of the screen, my mouse shows up down here. I know you probably can't see it because it's so small. But if I keep going down, then my mouse shows up on the little screen on the 430 down there. So that's how you arrange the displays in Windows. Next, we'll talk about installing the plugin. Okay, so next we need to download and install the plugin. And so if we're at um, the Real Sim Gear main page, which I'll take us to, you click on Setup up there again. And I'm going to go to Setup Guides, and I'm going to go to the 530 Setup Guide, and I'm going to download the plugin for X-Plane. And again, this part will already have done for you if you buy the pack, a package, a computer package from us with, with this product. We'll go ahead and do this for you. Now, the 430 and 530 plugins should use the same, should be the same. So you only need to do this once. But I'm going to download the plugin, and then I'm going to go to my downloads folder where I have the Real, Seer, Real Sim Gear plugin, and I'm going to extract it here. And you see it creates a real sim gear folder and inside that folder is the plugin so you just need to copy that folder and go to your uh, x-plane folder so for me it's on the c drive x-plane 11 then you go to resources and plugins and you paste it in there and now the plugin is installed, as simple as that. And when you start up X-Plane, you will be able to see that the plugin is installed and that it's talking to the two devices. So the next thing we need to do is download a file. And again, if you buy a package from us, we'll have already done this for you. But we need to download a file that rep rep replaces the bezel artwork for the 430 and the 530 within X-Plane. And what I mean is, when you bring up the 530 in X-Plane, what comes up is it'll have all these buttons and knobs and so forth on the window that comes up. And then when you put it on here, you don't want those buttons and knobs showing up around the perimeter of your, or your screen here. So I think it'll make sense in just a moment. But what we do, is this is right here on the, the Garmin you know, GNS430 setup guide. We're going to download a file, and it is called Garmin432D.png. And let's see, where is it? If you use the download right here. So you right click, save link as, and then you go to this folder, Xplain Resources Bitmaps Cockpit radios GPS FMS so let's see radios GPS FMS and hit save and it'll ask you do you want to overwrite the file you can make a copy of it if you want but I'm not going to I'm gonna say yes and we need to do the same thing for the 530 actually I think I won't do that for the 530 so you I can show you what it looks like when you don't do this Okay, now we're in X-Plane. I was going to show you what it looks like when you forget to replace the artwork, but apparently I had already done it, uh, which you'll see here in just a second. So, just to be clear, the Real Sim Gear devices are, are compatible with any plane in X-Plane that uses the X-Plane 530 and the X-Plane 430. If there's a homegrown 530 or 430 that's been made by a third party, um, you need to check on that. I'm not going to say it won't work, but you need to check on it to make sure that it will. Now I'll click on the 530 here and notice what it brings up is just the data. 
there's no bezel around the edges anymore and that's because we replaced that artwork file and so what you need to do is click in the upper right hand corner of this window these two little boxes come up and that will put it into a window and so what you need to look for is you know this bar across the top and everything and then I can drag it down here to the 530 and maximize it I do the same thing with the 430 over here I'm just going to click on the 430 and then click in the upper right hand corner to put it into a window then drag it down and maximize it on the 430 down here and there we go we now have the two devices um, where they need to be and if you want you know if you don't want all this cockpit up here you can hit control W and just get rid of it or um, you can you can also fly around you know with the cockpit just like that okay so um, we're up here in X-Plane we've we've done the artwork that we needed we've installed the plugin we updated the firmware um, now let's go to the plugins menu in X-Plane and I'm going to go to the real sim gear plugin and what it brings up is this box right here and this box I'll get try to get a little closer to it will show you the connected real sim gear devices you can see we have a 530 and a 430 they're both running version 2.2.2 of the firmware and this is just a little confirmation you know that it's communicating okay with these two devices now um, this will mimic exactly what you see on the screen in X-Plane so these knobs work you know everything works um, all of the, the buttons and knobs do the same thing as if you were over here with your mouse clicking on it but it's done obviously in a much easier way you're able to uh, use muscle memory when you go out and fly by actually using um, the device as it's designed but you see it's mimicking <coughs> excuse me exactly what you see on the main screen is what's showing up on the real sim gear devices and I'm not going to pretend like I know how to operate this but uh, suffice it to say it, it works beautifully and obviously it's a much more realistic way to you know work with the 430 and the 530 as opposed to grabbing the mouse and having to click over here uh, it's a much cleaner setup and these again can be incorporated into your own panel or cockpit if you've if you've created your own cockpit um, you don't have to buy this stand that goes along with it I think that covers everything um, remember if you get the package from us with it includes these uh, we will do the firmware we'll do the artwork um, you'll uh, you'll just have to arrange the screens uh, we'll do the plug-in, all that stuff. Um, so, you know, don't worry about doing everything and all the steps you see in here.